What's up, lawn nerds? Glad to have you back. It is a beautiful day here. Birds are chirping, hammers are swinging, and it's just gonna be 70 today, so it's awesome. But as promised, as you can already see, it's all about the Simpson P4240H pressure washer. 4200 PSI, four gallons a minute. Let's go. There's not many ways to unbox a pressure washer other than just getting it done. But let's go over a few of the specs this thing touts on the box right now, and we're really gonna hope that this thing outperforms the Briggs & Stratton. I'm pretty sure it will. So this guy, as we said, is the PS4240H. This thing's rolling 4200 PSI in four gallons a minute. This thing's gas, not electric. We decided, eh. Nah, I didn't want to do that anymore. I just went straight to the gas. <laughs> the funny thing that I find is this has a robust professional chassis. Robust. 13 inch tires, a 3 8 by 50 foot steel braided hose, and five quick connect spray nozzles. But I also know I, I ordered another 150 feet for this hose because like I said last time, I really want to use this for my side hustle pressure wash. And that came with quick disconnects on it already. So it's not something I had to buy. And it feels like a nice hose. I'm not sure if it's gonna bend and like, once it gets worn in, be malleable. I think it might be one of those that still kind of wants to stay, um, stay coiled up. We'll see. I mean, this is supposed to come with the same hose. So this thing is also running a Honda. Um, I paid a little extra because I wanted the Honda instead of the rebranded one because I've read about some problems possibly on the one that's not Honda, so I didn't want that, especially since we ran through the problem with the Briggs. So let's uh, let's get her open. All right, instruction a manual. We can place those over here. Because who needs instructions, right? So here we're going to have the back handle. Set that down. A little cardboard. And all sorts of stuff. More cardboard here. Here's the gun. That thing looks... Not too bad, it's it's all plastic, but it's heavy plastic. It does it doesn't feel quite as loose as the other one. And this has double O-rings. Check that out. This has double O-rings in the wand connection. And look at the length of this wand. It's so long. That's gonna be so nice. This is probably, actually, you know what? Hold on a second. I'll go show you because that extension that we had was the exact same length on the bricks. Hold on. This is the exact length of the extension that we got on the Briggs uh, pressure washer before. They were the exact same length. I got it to just be longer so I didn't have to bend over so much with that surface cleaner. But look at the difference. I actually hold them like this. Look how much longer that one is right off the bat. I would say it's almost a foot. So it's pretty nice. This is a really nice wand. Bye, Felicia. All right, let's set this off to the side. Um, anything else loose in here? Oh, sweet. It comes with a siphon hose. That's nice. Um, tips. I would assume these are for putting on the handles. Nice. All righty. Well, and I see the hose is down below, so. Let's do the honors, kids. And there she is. All right, so let's get this out of here. Get the other part of the handle. 
I'm pretty sure uh, this one, and I haven't looked at it a lot, but it's got one that comes this way and that way to kind of protect you from things down here. Oh, what's this little guy? Oh, this is going to be our four cycle oil that we're definitely going to need. And trash. A little windy outside, so let's stick that under here. Get this taken off. Now this is pad. This is a padded. Here, I'll show you guys this. Padded right here, and it Velcro. It comes off if you want it off. It says Simpson. Um, this one says, "Take care of me and take care of your investment. Always treat your fuel with Ethanol Shield Fuel Stabilizer." Somebody paid quite a pretty penny, I'm sure, to put that on there all the time. But guess what we're not going to do? Put that in there. Caution. This is just telling you, do not put gas in here and run it because this thing was shipped without oil in it. So make sure you read the directions and put oil in it as directed. Otherwise, your machine is going to blow up and you're going to be mad. And we're going to tell you, sorry about your bad luck. Perfect. Now with the magic of movies, I'm gonna get rid of some of this stuff and we're gonna put it together. I wanted to show you guys what came in the box outside of any plastic packaging or any of that stuff, just all laid out before we got started putting it together. So here it is. So those are our handles that are obviously gonna go up there. Um, we've got a siphon tube because it does have a downstream injector. So that's gonna be able to go on there and siphon from a five gallon bucket, a 24 gallon tank, whatever. Um, it's got five spray nozzles that it touted it came with which they all go in here um, this is an oil cap because it's just got a plug over here to remind us that uh, hey you need to put this oil in that hole right there these are going to be our twist on bolts for the handles so this thing is basically toolless um, the gun the extension we already saw the extension it's super long super nice i already love it um, and that is 50 foot of double steel braided hose. And I, like I said earlier, have another 150 feet that I ordered since I'm gonna use this in my business um, on the side. So now we have a total of 200 feet. So let's get this on there. I'm sure you guys saw me fumbling around with the wand and how it exactly fits in there. And I knew something was wrong, so I went to look at the directions and look at this. This, the wand is supposed to be on the left side. Whoops. That doesn't go there. That's where the hose goes. Simpson put this on upside down so we're gonna fix it if anybody has one of your st a steel tool you've got one of these and this fits it shame shame Simpson somebody's not doing their job in quality control Now my sticker's upside down and my colors don't match up. You owe. I would say now we look like the picture. Yep.
All right, so here we go with our close-up view of the actual machine itself. On the left-hand side, we've got the on-off switch for turning the machine on and off, obviously. Your oil access, 1.6 gallon gas tank, easy enough. And your wand handle that we changed around just a little bit ago. These tires come aired up. I mean, they're ready to roll. Uh, on the back of the machine, we're gonna have our input for our hose to go to the wand, our sight glass for our pump oil itself. Now this comes factory filled with oil. It's always supposed to be halfway full on the red dot. Your downstream injector for siphoning detergent, bleach, something like that. Uh, your adjustment for your pressure. And that's pretty much all on the back. But we'll go to the side. And this is where we're gonna input our hose from the house. And this is actually to hang the hose from. I don't know how often we're gonna be using that because we got a lot of hose, but that 50 will probably fit there quite nicely. It's pretty wide. Um, and then on the front, we've got, as I showed you earlier, this is a padded little deal, I think, in case you hit anything. Obviously our pull start, your choke lever, your fuel off and on lever. And it shows you right there that it's on is going that way. You've got your throttle and that's gonna tell you right here what's minimum and what's maximum, minimum, maximum. I honestly think that this should probably be up here. More people are gonna notice it, I would guess, than down here. And air filter for the whole machine right there. Pretty, pretty easy stuff actually overall so let's get some fuel let's get some oil and fire this baby up all right ladies and gentlemen so a few very important things here one is going to be the oil you have to go to the owner's manual to figure out how much oil that this thing takes because we are given this one quart of 10w30 you're just given a fat bag of oil but this dipstick does not tell you on either side when you're full or when you're lacking in oil. You are supposed to be at about the bottom of those threads inside. So that's where we're gonna have to fill that to. The next thing, if you will remember, is when we had I had this all unpackaged and I set everything out, I had this little cap that says oil on it with the yellow and the O-ring. And I called Simpson and I asked because I couldn't find where this thing went. I was looking around and everything was plugged. I thought that maybe it was supposed to go in here before I even looked at it and that this was just a temporary plug, but obviously it's not. So I called him and I said, hey, I got this oil plug. Where's it go? And he said, well, let me look into that. He said, what's it look like? I said, it's black, it says oil on it. It's got a yellow bottom, it's got an O-ring. Let me know. He comes back and he said, well, I think you just have an extra oil plug. I said, all right, you know, no big deal. So I went into the instructions to see how much oil this thing actually takes. And I found this. This is why you always read this stuff. That little plug, oh, sorry. That little plug is meant to go right there, which is right here. You guys probably can't see that very well it goes in the pump case. So we gotta take this off. Oh, that's still not loose enough. Because this plug, this red one, is not vented for shipping. Oh, that must be, they're opposite. Yes, maybe not. It says it goes the right way. Oh, 180 degrees and pull. They definitely don't want this thing coming out of here. That's for sure. There it is. She's out. And you can hear that pop. There we go. Yep, she's vented. Good to go. That part, done. Now, 
for this little guy. This is not gonna be the easiest thing to fill whatsoever. So let's give her a whirl. That's already punctured. And I don't trust this very well. Actually, let's just try this. That actually works pretty well if you pour it slow. Yeah. Now I will admit, it is a little difficult to kind of see what you're doing. I mean, I know it's gonna take a lot of oil, but I also don't wanna overfill this thing right off the bat either. You have to drain it. I'd imagine it'll take the whole thing, but who knows? All right, well, it took the full quart. Let's look at it. All right, let's check her out here. Wipe her off good. She looks to be about halfway. I'm sure it's probably hard for you guys to see that, but it's about halfway and that's kind of what it showed on the original diagram in the engine guide. So I'll clean this little bit of oil up. I know a lot of you guys are thinking, dude, you should have just poured the whole thing in right away because it's gonna take it. Yeah, I know. I was thinking about taking that chance, but the drain plug for this thing is <laughs> right there. I have to take this off. I have to take all this stuff apart to be able to drain that. And I don't think I want to do that. So I just gave it the safety and just took an extra few seconds to just pour it in slowly. All right, gas time. Let's talk about this real quick. These sure cans. This is a 2.2 gallon sure can and they are awesome. You just saw me use it and it is so simple. It keeps everything tight. This everybody complains about having to hold it back, but you just gotta, you gotta pull back on it before you're putting pressure down. It's the whole reason behind this. Pull back, pressure down, it's good. No leaks, get one. Now this type of pressure washer, since it does take a lot of water, you wanna make sure that you're gonna give it adequate amount of water. So we're gonna do a gallons per minute test and I'm probably gonna speed it up, but I'm gonna show you the whole thing because I don't want you to think I'm cheating.
All right, let's go through our startup check. We've got our choke on, our fuel is on, our gas is, uh, or our throttle is in the minimum position. We've got start, let's see right here, is gonna be on and we should be good to go. Now what we're gonna have to do is turn the hose on and release the pressure out of this gun for, it says 30 seconds. We need to get all the air out of it. We're gonna hold it and then we're gonna pull it and give her a whirl. Go ahead and just depress the trigger and we'll get, uh, we'll basically bleed all the air out of this, out of all these lines. And you see every time it jumps, you got a little air bubble there. Still hear it kicking a little air out of there. Well, we got a little leak here. Let's try and give her a whirl. Much better. Black soap tip. That's a really nice spray. Really nice. The white 40 degree tip. That's another really good one. Green 25. Yellow 15. And the red zero. I know you all been waiting for this one. Let's get out the surface cleaner.
you have it, kind of the initial review of that Simpson P4240H pressure washer. I think it did a really good job. I mean, it's what I've been after. It has pressure. Let's just start there. That's a heck of a way to start, actually having pressure. This wasn't like a thorough, like all in review. I mean, it was pretty bold unboxing, but you guys are gonna see this throughout the summer. So you guys are gonna be able to, you know, kind of gauge how it's doing on your own, you know, and think, you know, with all the times that we're gonna use this, how it works but you can see it runs the surface cleaner just fine it sprays like crazy out of those tips and i'll probably post on instagram tomorrow what that side of the driveway of the driveway looks like because it's getting pretty dark if you can tell and sorry for the late light um i had school and a, a track meet for the daughter tonight so that's what kind of made it and i thought with the the light being a little dimmer it would help and maybe be able to show the difference a little better and see it uh, getting clean as opposed to that sun just barreling down on it and you know not really showing much but I do want to mention that that downstream injector I did some reading and it is a seven to one so every seven gallons that of water that that thing pulls through it's going to pull one gallon of detergent bleach whatever you're using so keep that in mind if you guys don't get an adjustable one I'm gonna pick up an adjustable one so we're going to be able to see the difference there and what it makes. Hopefully you guys enjoyed what you saw right now on the, on the new, uh, on the Simpsons. So like, share, comment, and subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next episode.